Okay, here's how to set up a throttle cut on Jetty. Um, we're in that same default model that I created before to show you how to do hold. You just go menu, um, go to advanced properties, other model options, throttle cut. And again, this is for shutting off the engine. This is not for, this is not for throttle hold like to do auto rotation. So this is the switch I want to use for my uh, throttle cut. It's one of the jetty locking switches. So when you bump it, it won't automatically, it won't turn because you don't want to accidentally turn an engine off. Um, so you move the switch to where you want it. There it is, it's down, it's activated. You can tell it's activated because it's got the little check mark. If it was going the wrong way, you could hit reverse to reverse where it's at, but it's where I want it, so good. Okay, throttle cut value. It's gonna drive negative 100, which is full closed after I, uh, after, I hit, after I hit that switch. So we're gonna hit okay. And then you can verify what it's doing by going there with the little uh, arrows. And you can see throttle, with throttle cut down, does nothing. With throttle cut up, the throttle moves. On, the throttle's off. And so you can see the effect with, so we're in a, a normal mode with a straight line throttle curve. You get negative 100 to positive 100. Here's that throttle hold I set up earlier. It's just staying in one spot because that's the hold. And if I hit cut, it goes there. And the neat thing about throttle cut is Jetty knows that that means you've locked the throttle. So when you do throttle cut, see where it says off? That tells you that the throttle is off. When you turn it that way, it goes back up and uh, tells you that the, that the engine isn't off. So that's why you want to use the throttle cut for cut.